Wow. This is so amazing. right we said it this is the best hotel in japan at least in our opinion this is actually this amazing. Is amazing a stunning 165 year old traditional japanese inn overlooking miyajima we spent one night at the awaso ryaken it features all of the authentic japanese decor think tatami floors, sliding doors, onsen pools, and an in-room dining experience like you have never had before. In our last vlog, we traveled from Onomichi to Miyajima and shared what there is to enjoy on this island, but now it's time to check in and show you more of this amazing hotel. Hello, are you checking out? Check it in. You can keep your luggage. Konnichiwa. Oh. Do you have reservation here? Yes. yes. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Beautiful. Yes. We've been told to take a seat because someone is going to be here shortly to escort us to our room. I have no idea where our room is, whether it's in this building or in a building adjacent. So peaceful. Oh, we go upstairs. <laughs> Even the lobby is so pretty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so amazing. This is so awesome. Talk about traditional, authentic. Really is. I don't even know where we would sleep. I don't know. Where did we sleep? Where should we sleep on the floor? I have no idea. I don't know. Ah, oh, there's oh, our bedding. That's the bed on so the I think they make up our bedding on the floor. Oh, okay. Which makes sense. This is the toilet. Everything is so clean. Yeah. And compact. Yay, Japanese toilet. Oh, oh. yes. Look how deep that bathtub is. It's like an onsen bath. That is the deepest bathtub I think I've ever seen. I think it would go over my head. <laughs> oh, I think you sit on that to wash yourself. Oh, do you? It's like a little seat. Is that, do you sit on that and wash me? <laughs> Maybe. This is when I realise, or re-realise, how tall James is <laughs> when you have to duck to go through the doorway Dave, in Japan. Uh, I might be alright, but don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got his and hers kimono for us to wear at dinner. And I've just discovered we have the socks that have the, <laughs> the gap in the middle. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so initial thoughts on this hotel. This is one of the best hotels I think we will have ever stayed at. It is so traditionally authentic Japanese and exactly the kind of experience that we wanted here. So I'm just feeling so happy. We've got green tea, we've got sponge cake, we've got tummy flooring, we get to sleep on the floor tonight. I'm really happy. So we get to sleep here, we have dinner here, and we have this view. So awesome. Cheers to that. Cheers. Oh, it's matcha. Mm. Matcha. So we've just dropped off our bags at our hotel and I am in love with this place already. So where we're staying tonight is actually near Momijadani Park. It's literally like a two second walk. We have researched and seen that there's normally a lot of deer around that way. So we've already been so lucky with seeing so many wild deer, but uh, maybe there's more to see there. This park is pretty. We've got Samuel L. Jackson on the uh, camera here. Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah, you got your Kangol hat on backwards. <laughs> The deer on Miyajima Island are wildlife animals. Please treat them gently and with patience. Do not feed them paper. It literally ate the paper. It did. You didn't even know what was going on. I turned around and 
I got scared. Suddenly next to me and just ate my map. I can't believe how many deer there are on this park. They are everywhere. They're so chill as well. This is beautiful. It's so pretty. It reminds me of a Batu Caves entrance. That wasn't the sound I thought it was going to make. <laughs> Oh wow! So when you visit the Daisho Inn Temple, on the left hand side there's a little pathway filled with 500 small statues. These represent the first 500 disciples of the historical Buddha Shakyamuni, all of them individually carved wearing an array of different facial expressions. They're also all dressed in wool hats. These are usually knitted by the local residents of Miyajima and patrons to the temple and renewed each year as offerings to the statues. It's very peaceful here. So this is where we are staying tonight. It is stunning. We just suddenly started hearing this music and we have no idea where it's coming from. Is it outside? I have no idea. Sunset? No. No. Maybe. No. Konnichiwa. Okay, we can. Oh, perfect. So from 8.30. And it would be for two people. Yes. Alex is inquiring about getting a massage in the room later tonight. Yay! Yay! So there's going to be two people coming and they're going to be giving us a massage for 40 minutes for 4,000 yen, which I think is pretty good value for money. That's not bad, that's like 55 Australian dollars. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's cheaper than it would be in Australia. So. Sweet! So we have our traditional <laughs> kimonos, which we are going to be putting on for this evening. Now we are told we can actually take this out and about in town if we wish because there's also jackets they've given us in case we get cold. Are you following the instructions because that doesn't look right. <laughs> now I don't know if James has actually even looked at the instructions. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> yeah you just put it on right and you put the belt around you. I'm not a pro. I never said I was a pro. It says to tie it twice. But so far so good. You're looking the part. Perfect. Now, for me, the best part of these socks. Do you remember last time we were here, we bought these socks? How good are these? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look in the park. So we are just sitting down to this absolute feast. Feast. This is the Japanese banquet, and we will try and run through if we can remember what is on this table. I have no idea. There are some very unusual foods that we have never tried before. Like eel. Eel. Eel is apparently very popular and famous for this region, and it is really good. Oh, wow. And this is assorted meats. It's different types of fishes and some vegetables, even some fruit. Mm. This one I'm actually excited to try as I love edamame. It's purified edamame yeah. and milk jelly, which I have never tried before. With some other kind of garnish on top. So we're going to try this. I'm going to get a bit of edamame and milk jelly. Here it goes. What's the verdict? Not Pretty bad. Good. It tastes kind of a bit like pea puree. And the milk jelly doesn't really taste like milk. It's more just like yogurt or jelly. It's really good. And then we've got these massive oysters, which are, again, very popular for this region, but it's a seasonal winter dish. So um, we're very lucky to be experiencing this, even though Alex is allergic to oysters. So there's these two, plus another two at the moment. We are now onto our, what seems like 15th course. A lot of food has come in. So she's come back and she's lit this hot pot and we have to wait for this fish to turn white 
in about what five minutes five minutes and then we can eat it after that and it's really. cooking through this paper i don't understand how that paper is not burning we did ask we said look we are in a wooden room with a wooden floor wooden Everything. partitions everywhere and she said it's absolutely fine it is starting to steam up so i think we're meant to eat it like a broth as we put a spoon so maybe we'll give it another few minutes yeah she also gave us this wagyu beef stew style it's like a stew it's got gravy onion sauce it had dumplings before i ate all of them and green beans and green beans so we have come to the end of our huge meal it seems like there were about 15 courses as you can see by the million plates on the table but we've done our best we tried lots of little different things that actually we've never tried before so i'm quite proud of this <laughs> me too and now what do we have well not just yet we need to wait for our food to digest a little bit and then we're having an in-room massage yeah. <laughs> Bye. And that's it. Our bed is ready. They look so comfy. considering it's attached to a massive rice spoon. <laughs> okay, restaurant. So we haven't had the chance to check out the onsen pools yet or the restaurant. So we're gonna go down to breakfast, have a look at the restaurant area, and then maybe afterwards have a quick look at the onsen parts. Oh, it's already for us. Oh. Yeah. Wow. How awesome is this? The presentation here is spectacular. So we have tofu cooking away. We're going to wait a few minutes for that to finish cooking. So we have a very traditional, authentic Japanese breakfast this morning. We have some grilled fish, Japanese omelette, and a seasoning radish. We have some sort of no, it's cod roll with kidney beans. kidney beans, fish cake, baby sardines, which I'm going to be staying away from. We have mushrooms and spinach, plum something, and this is a mix of radish, mm. tofu. Oh, and also we have some tofu, which is cooking away in this pot here. She came back with some rice, and we have some potato bacon and some sausages with matcha green tea. So the onsen baths are separated between females and males and then every day they swap it over so at least the opposite sexes can experience the different onsen baths that are on offer here. Now this is the rough process. Gentlemen, it's separate bar partition door and then please put a ticket on your Japanese sandal. So like most onsen baths here in Japan, the process of getting ready for the baths is you have all of these baskets and lockers to put all of your items of clothing. You ultimately have to strip down to no clothing. You have towels to wrap around you. And then you make your way to the onsen baths. So we have one indoor one here and there's an outdoor one outside. Now, what you're meant to do is, you're meant to wash yourself before getting into the onsen baths, clean yourself, and then you can step inside. It's sort of just common courtesy more than anything else. I can film in here because there is no one here this morning. Oh my God, it's freezing outside. But look at this. How amazing is the light in here? That is beautiful. 
And of course, once you've finished, you can then groom yourself to get ready for your day. And that was it. We hope you enjoyed the tour of the Onsen Baths. Alex is next door in the female one. I think it's time for me to get in. You can't see this. So although we only stayed one night here at Iwaso Rayukan, we are very sad to leave. Alex is doing a grand double packing. <laughs> it's been a beautiful stay. Are you ready to say goodbye? I don't want to leave. It's been awesome staying here. Just stay here forever. I think we should. Stay here forever. Bye room. Okay, let's get our bags. Yeah. And make our way to reception. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. The uh, big wooden spoon. That means it. Bye room. The people at work here are so lovely. Oh, this room is nice. Wow. Okay, could be worse. We have decided not to check out just yet. So we've left our luggage with the reception and we are going to explore for maybe another hour, maybe two, of Miyajima Island because there were a few places we didn't get the chance to see yesterday. Even though it is raining, we do know that it's still very pretty outside. So we've made it to the five tier pagoda on Miyajima Island. So let's go grab some photos. Ready, steady. Unfortunately, we are on our way to the local clinic on Miyajima Island because Alex has contracted tonsillitis. Now, I think that I might have given it to her because I had tonsillitis twice in London about five days before leaving for Japan. And although we thought we got rid of it, it seems as though I did, but Alex now has it. So hopefully this clinic can help. Otherwise, we may have to wait until we get to Fukuoka City to head to a hospital where we can get some antibiotics. I will say this view is beautiful. Okay, we're super close. It's saying, I think that's it there, this house on the corner. So I think we found it. Oh yeah, Miyajima Clinic. Let's see how we go. I'm putting the camera down now. All right. The verdict, tonsillitis. <laughs> They've given me two masks for when traveling to protect me from spreading any germs. And they've given me some antibiotics as well. So hopefully I'll get better soon. So this is Miyajima Clinic, which is very, very close to Miyajima Ferry Port. Now, if you are on this island, there aren't many places to seek medical attention. So head here. The doctor came out, saw you within 30 seconds. 30 seconds. He quickly checked my throat, felt my glands, and he knew straight away. He spoke very good English. We were in and out within 10 minutes. It's not even. Not I think even. it's been five minutes. So definitely recommend this clinic if you are on this island. So before we go, we're going to explore some of Miyajima Island's streets. There are some cute coffee shops, some cute souvenir shops, and some cute places to get some food. So let's go. So we just met some Aussie ladies who were lovely. There they are, over there. And one of them lives in Cronulla, which is about 15 minutes away from where we used to live. And the other one lives in Kilcare, where my brother-in-law's from. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I think we're two cousins separated apart. We're definitely related. Everyone in Kilkia knows one another and uh, is definitely related to one another. So I think uh, you owe me 20 bucks, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this place looks lovely. There you are. Wow, this place is amazing. Yes, please. Arigato. So if you are big coffee lovers like us, 
and head to this place. It's got some of the best coffee we've had since being in Japan. We've ordered the mocha, which is kind of like a, its take on the cappuccino slash mocha. It's got a layer of chocolate goop right at the bottom. So at the end, you're in for a real treat. So check out this place if you're ever here. Mom said goodbye to Iwaso. Thank you. Fire coming in my face. <laughs> That's going in the outtakes. The camel toe socks. <laughs> and she's just come back and she's lit this hot bar. <laughs> Brrr. <laughs> so we are on to what looks <laughs> So we've got the giggles. Oh. <laughs> I just choked on a dog then. It's quite unbelievable. We are literally on to like our 15th course. It was like that. She's come back and she's lit this hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm saying the word hot pot. And green beans. And green beans. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs>